Well, my girlfriend got me to drink this aloe vera water stuff. I never thought I would actually like this. Maybe you can see it. I don't know. Um, there are a lot of floaties in this. And, uh, yeah, I kind of know what it looks like. But gosh darn it. It's good. If you have ever had boba tea, this is probably the closest you're going to get to it in the wild. By the wild, I mean save a lot in Kansas City. I've definitely used aloe vera stuff before. Usually when I get a sunburn or I just get burned or something like that, I'll put it on my skin and it feels a lot better. I never really thought about drinking it. Um, I've seen a couple weird hippie hipster people drinking it a couple times, some of them hippy dippy stuff. I never really wanted to drink it because it just didn't seem appetizing but the way it's shaped and looks it looks like you bought it at like an Asian market because they sell a lot of stuff like in liter forms over there so it was definitely different um, I'll tell you what got me hooked on it um, first off it tastes pretty good I like it I think it tastes pretty good um, the texture is kind of weird because it's a liquid but then it's got like this gummy stuff in it which is the aloe vera you kind of chew on which isn't bad or you can just swallow it whatever tastes good I like it but the thing that got me hooked was I was at my girlfriend's place in Kansas City and I had a bit of a sore throat and she asked if I could get if she could get anything for me to drink I said sure she said how about I get you some aloe vera water and I was a little skeptical about it but then she brought it over to me in a little glass and said here just try it I was like okay and I liked it and you know what within a couple minutes my sore throat went away that's when I became a believer full-hearted believer I, I I love things that make you feel better and make you not sick anymore without going to the doctor and this is one of them uh, my trip back from Kansas City back to Davenport I drank a whole liter of this I had to stop to take a pee many of times far more and I made my trip much longer than I needed to by drinking one of these uh, but I definitely like it now the only difficulty I have is trying to find it here in Davenport Kansas City is a lot bigger in Missouri and there's a lot more places there that sell this. Now, out here a little more in the Midwest, not so much. My girlfriend told me about this story that concerns aloe vera, where this guy was hiking and just found a bunch of wild aloe vera plants, busted open the leaves and got a spoon, just started digging it and shoveling it in his mouth. And he ate so much of it that when he went to the doctor, they said, you're sterile. And he said, well, what the heck? And they said, well, you ate so much concentrated aloe vera that you're sterile. You can't have kids anymore. The validity of this, I I don't know. Could be fake, could be false, could be fake news. But uh, nonetheless, you know, hey, I'm not going to have kids for a little bit, so I guess it's okay. And it doesn't seem like it's too bad. There's some sugar. There's no protein. Uh, some salt. All in all, it's pretty good. So if you have the chance, I'd definitely say go try it. I'm not one to actually go out and try new drinks, but it's definitely something that I kind of liked, and you might like it too yourself. Before I finish up this little video, I want to say two things. One is thank you, Uu, for your comment a couple days ago saying, Ripperoni, try for a new one then about my job. Thank you for your condolences. It's highly appreciated. Stay strong, Uu. Second, I want to thank 89 Cricks. Yeah, I have no idea what that means. I don't know if I really want to know what that means. But thank you for subscribing. It's highly appreciated. I am still trying to uh, get 100 subscribers. It's been almost a year now. I've had my challenge going to try and get to 100 subscribers. But, you know, whatever. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciated it. If there's certain kind of videos or topics you want me to address, please say something in the comments. That's why I do YouTube. I like the community here. Even though it's a very small community, communities tend to grow with love and care. So when you subscribe, I'll always give you a shout out as much as I can and say thank you for pressing that one little button and that one-tenth of a calorie you burned to click it. Thank you.